We had wanted to implement a generalized particle system for quite some time, and after episode 1 we set out to create one. In previous Half-Life games, each effect had been hand-coded by a programmer working with an artist. It was effective, but not easily scalable. Our new system drew upon the aspects we found most useful from team members who had worked with both real-time systems in games and offline renderers for movies such as The Lord of the Rings. The results were an artist-friendly, modular, component-driven system. Each system can have renderers which display the particle in some form, initializers which set up certain properties of the particle, operators which carry out actions upon the particle each frame, constraints which provide movement limitations such as collision, forces which impart complex dynamics, and emitters which determine how each new particle is created. Together they are plugged into a system as needed to be as lightweight or as complex as required for the effect. Each individual component is simple but when combined can create rather complex dynamics. Furthermore, adding additional components to support the specific needs of a game or a mod is easily done. The results can be seen in everything ranging from the simple glows of the larval extract here to the citadel effects, blood, smoke, hunter effects, portal effects, fire, and so forth. Dynamic effects are now in the hands of the artists, who can use them to create whatever is needed, from unique one-offs in specific levels to generalized effects for gameplay.